Hello, ladies and germs. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilettante Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilettante Ball, we go on Wikipedia. We click a random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. But first, we're going to thank everybody for coming out to the Peaches on Hot Sauce Summer Solstice Barbecue 2K14. <laughs> Uh, it was a great old time. Man, how many how many gods did you sacrifice to? Three, four? <laughs> Just one, the one true god. Oh, Dagon? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Very uh, cool. Yeah. Good time. Good time. Good grilling. Good dudes. Good ladies. Good burgers. Good dogs. Good mustard. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to talk about something else? Sure. It's the Great Dilettante Ball Quarter Race 2014, or the GDBQR 2014. That's where Spencer and I race each other and you to get all the 50 some odd state quarters released. Yes. How many do you have this week? None. None. How many do you have? None. Tied at none. Ding, 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 ding. (laughs) (laughs) How many do you have out there? Players at home? Players at home. None. Ballers. Dilettante ballers. (laughs) That'll catch on. Yeah, for sure. I've been I've been subtly trying to make it work in, in real life. Yeah. When w- do you remember we had done like five episodes uh-huh. and Jessica, uh, the official girlfriend of the Dilton Dilton Ball, Ball, did like some project on us for her class. Yeah. And she she interviewed like us and Derek Shoemaker about it. <laughs> and in in the story, she said that. Fans are referred to as ballers because I told her to do that. That's really funny. <laughs> but we had, first of all, assuming we have fans on episode five, so it was like, Derek, can you listen to an episode because you haven't? I'm sure, and then talk about it, and then also, it, it was just a whole lie. That's right. Because we were we were seriously like five episodes. Right. In. Like I had just met you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's pull up a random article. Cool. I wonder. I'm gonna try and find that story. Yeah, please. That'd be really funny to post. I, I'm certain I can find okay, it somewhere. Good. And Derek was like, "Yeah, it's great. It's like, it's like you're sitting there talking with them." And and I mean, like I fucking still didn't listen to it at that point. Yeah, they the way that they talk, <laughs> the way they modulate the vocal cord. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa. What you got, buddy? Wet wired. Ooh, wet wired. Yeah. What is it? This is, this is. You've done this like three weeks in a row now. No. You can't get this excited every week. No, this is um this is a sign. Oh, weird. Alright, of what? I mean uh, I don't like this. This is creepy. Just just guess what wet wired is. You're gonna you're gonna be real creeped out. I don't I don't know. I don't wanna guess. <laughs> Alien shit? Is it X Files shit? It's an episode of the X Files. Whoa! I don't and like that. From season our, five. Um, that'd be third, two, season three. Okay. Oh well, that's not creepy then. That's really crazy. Our, that was our two, last episode X Files? Season five. So two weeks in a row of all the millions of Wikipedia articles we could have gotten, we got two X Files in a row. Fuck. That's pretty weird. Fuck. David Duchovny. <laughs> what's the deal? Right? He's on that show. Yeah, him okay. and Marissa Tomei. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fuck. That's weird. That's crazy. Is it David Duchovny? Yeah, it definitely is David Duchovny. If you say so. If I say so. Probably. Yeah, right there. David Duchovny. Yeah, from Californication. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Wet Wired is the 23rd episode of the third season and the 72nd episode overall of the science fiction television series The X-Files. It first aired in the United States on May 10th, 1996 on Fox and subsequently aired in the United Kingdom on February 6, 1997. They had to wait a whole extra year on BBC One. Weird. It was written by the show's visual effect designer, Matt Beck. Okay. Hey, look, I'm I, I'm really like uh, I got a lot on my plate this week. Do you want to like does you want just want to like write this episode or whatever? <laughs> or maybe he was like, man, I've been working on this sick visual effect. Can I <laughs> let me let me let me get it in there? But we have to have a <laughs> UFO and right. <laughs> This this week's episode was written by Foley artist <laughs> yeah. M- Matt Thompson. I get these dope squishing noises I want to use. So I'm thinking like a swamp or alien brains. Yeah. <laughs> What's so this is a spooky thing. Okay. This is maybe the spookiest thing that's happened to me in your whole life. Yeah. What's the spookiest thing that's happened to you? Um. Oh jeez. I mean, I, I don't know. Or, I, or I, most, I avoid spooky or most things. Serendipitous thing, I suppose. Um. 
serendip uh, oh, s- multiplicity do yeah multipli- what's what's your favorite um part of multiplicity <laughs> with uh michael keaton <laughs> uh let's see though I, I don't do i don't do spooky things on purpose i i my whole i live my whole life to not be spooked out because i'm such a uh, scaredy cat. That's that's funny because I. You do the opposite. I am a scaredy cat, but I want I want it. Okay. I want to be spooked. Um. Yeah. Like I didn't even watch scary movies or, or or anything forever, and then I started watching them, and I was like, oh, there's n- I've never to this day I've never seen one, and I've seen a bunch now, but there's never been one scary movie that's ever been scarier than anything I've ever imagined or dreamt up. It's always like this is a scary movie. Um. I feel the same way. I recently watched which. These are these are older, so dated, I suppose. But I recently watched Scream, uh-huh. and I know what you did last summer, uh-huh. and something else. What was the other big? Hmm. The Ring. Okay. I watched all three of those for the first time. Sure. A month ago. Didn't give a shit. No, they weren't great. Scream was probably the best, um, and Scream was silly, and I feel like it was supposed to be silly. Yeah, right, so that right. was that was fun, right. and it had Matthew Lillard. That's who's amazing. Right. The best. And um, I mean, I can think of three movies he's done, and they're all couldn't be aim. Uh, yeah, Scream, Scooby Doo, and Scooby Doo Two: Monsters <laughs> Unleashed. <laughs> uh, he was an SLC Punk. No shit. Yeah, that's funny. Which he's like the main character, and it's awesome. And then the other movie was um, was it Hackers? Was that what it was called with Angelina Jolie? Maybe. I don't know. Pretty good movie for like what it is. Um, there was a really shitty Angelina Jolie movie. Where they shoot the guns and they what would the fuck was that called? Yeah, yeah. Where it's like you bending bullets. And yeah, shit. that movie was dog shit. I don't remember. I remember one. It began with an it. R. It was like one word, like one of those, like yeah, yeah, like Looper. Like yeah, one, Re- Jumper. Reward. I want to say reward, but that's not it. We'll think of it later. We'll get back to you. Yeah, that movie sucked. Don't see it. Cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I remember watching The Exorcist and wanting to be scared because everyone's like, "Oh, it's such a scare." And it's like I wasn't, but okay, whatever. I remember watching Repossessed. The Exorcist parody movie starring uh, Leslie Nielsen. Okay. It was fine. Is he still alive? I don't think so. I think he recently died. That's awful. You know who else recently died? Spooky Casey Kasem, voiced Shaggy, played by Matthew Matthew Lillard, Lillard. (laughs) who was in – well, how did we get to Matthew Lillard in the first place? He was in Scream. He was in Scream. If you look – if you direct your attention to my cork board with (laughs) uh, yarn and photographs. I've been trying to avoid it. That has been giving me the creeps, actually. (laughs) Yeah. I can do – a pretty solid Casey Kasem impression. Uh, you want to do it right now? Yes. Okay, go for it. It's going to – it's <clears> – <throat> I haven't done it in a while. Okay. So this is uh, – w- request, request a song. Uh, no, no. Can I tell you who I am and where I'm calling from? Or? No, I'll read the letter that you sent. Per- okay, perfect. Uh, dear Casey, my name is Spencer Hamilton, and I'd like for you to play Two Become One by the Spice Girls <laughs> for my little lady – Back home in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> well, Spencer, this is for you. I'm Casey Kasem, and this is the Top 40. That was not great. Sorry, was that Casey Kasem, or was that Clarice Starling in Silence of the Lambs? No. Uh, that, this he is, said he could smell he, my cunt. He said he could smell my cunt. It's Casey Kasem, right? No, that was more George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> You're a master of disguise. I'm a master of impression. Yeah, you are. Uh, I can do one impression, and it all sounds like George Bush. <laughs> it all sounds like Will Ferrell doing George Bush. Right. Yeah, yeah. They say that celebrities die in threes. Yes, I've heard that. Rick Mayall. Casey Kasem. Who's next? The Undertaker. <laughs> Coming to WrestleMania. Isn't The Undertaker already dead? Dog, no. The Undertaker? Which one is the one with the hand, the hand puppet, the sock puppet? Uh, that, the guy's name escapes me at the moment. M- Mick Foley? Does he do a so- Oh, he does like a straight up like a gym sock sock puppet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. he's still like, he's like a stand-up comic now. There's a new guy that does sock puppets now, by the way. Oh, no. And he's awesome. I don't I don't watch wrestling, but I've seen a few, and he's so fucking funny, dude. He's, so so it's like wrestling is sick. It's like, re- yeah, right. Can like, you smell what Trevor is cooking? <laughs> yeah, the stone. Yeah, right. No, he's like uh, he's like a Mexican, like like almost a Lucha Libre, but not. he doesn't have the mask or anything. But he comes from like that, like that's like his background or whatever. Weird. And yeah, so he has like a finishing move where he like puts on like a green, like a nylon sock, and the socks like a, like the cobra or whatever. Ugh. It's f- awesome. It's really funny, dude. So does he? Is he? Is he WWE? Is he WWE? He's WWE. He's, w- <laughs> he's WWE. Uh, that's weird. Yeah. So so, so, so he's, he's like, like in those same like 
you know, ring or whatever as people like The Undertaker or, you know, John Cena, like these, you know, real, <laughs> like, real. hardcore, we're right, right. But, you know, guys who would, like, break your face. Sure. And then there's, like, the comic relief, like this guy. Is he, is he skinny? No, or is no, he, like, I mean, is he, like, buff? He's, he's, uh, on a, on a scale of, uh, who's, who's the scrawniest wrestler that I know? On a scale of Sting Seth Green. to, to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> is Sting small? I feel like Sting is he's he's big, but he's not he's not a beefcake. Like, like I would say, the, like this guy I'm DJ. thinking of is like, have you seen Nacho Libre? Yeah. Like, if Nacho Libre lost like 20 pounds, Jack Black lost. 20 no, 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 pounds? Nacho Libre. Jack Black looks good. Nacho Libre could stand to lose a few. So, so he's not. So he's not like Jack. No, he's not jacked. No. Just a, just a, like a hot dude. He's just like he's like a he's like a fucking like funny little Mexican guy. Weird. It's really funny. I wish I could remember his name for the life of me. And there's another guy. Maybe it's him, but I think there's another guy that just like. Rolls up in like a Cadillac, like, it. <laughs> and I feel like there's like big bullhorns on the front of it. Ugh. Like, it's really is funny. that is that it's not Ric Flair, is it? No, it's not. It's that it's, seems like a Ric Flair. It's someone thing. else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, like we don't know hardly anything about wrestling, yeah. but we're just throwing out all these terms and yeah. Oh yeah, he's the heel. It's uh, the squared circle. You know, it's uh, it's you know part of this. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> my my um. Would you would you ever do that? Okay. Would I ever wrestle? Yeah, yeah. Do they? We did wrestling in um, gym in like, middle school, like like high school wrestling. It wasn't like WWE. No, we did we did. Um, okay, you're gonna be the villain in this one. <laughs> You'll be the heel. It was in it was in theater. Okay, right, no, right, right, no. Right. we yeah we did like breakaway uh, folding chairs. <laughs> we we all had sugar glass uh, Coke bottles That's, and we yeah, yeah, right. smashed over each other's heads. <laughs> yeah, we did we did like re- wrestling. Sure, like, real style wrestling, like, but we were all in, in middle school, so it was like weird. Yeah, like, no technique, no nothing, and it, and it was just like, okay, this week like, we're he, doing the wrestling unit, right. and we just did wrestling for a week. So some ninety pound kid just got sat on by a two hundred pound kid. Yeah, it's like great, thanks a lot. Yeah, and uh, we never did anything like that. <laughs> that's well, I mean, I feel like I'm my, my school is the outlier. You know, that's a, uh, sure. that seems like a weird thing. Oh. We also played a, a game like baseball or cricket i guess called two jack okay there were seven bases that's all i remember is that well, there were because seven there's 40 bases. kids in the gym class here yeah like all right everyone's gotta play <laughs> whatever yeah yeah you're like making positions up like, yeah you're yeah you're you're the you're the tr- uh the tree the tree trunk it's like well that's just the you're fat squim- kid you squimper right <laughs> squimper yes yeah, it's the squimper's job to like um make sure his glasses stay in his face and he gets to read a textbook uh, and he stands off and left of center field. I wish I was a, squ- a squimper. Squimper. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> um, we didn't do that. We, we did like I, I don't know. I, I had you had, like it was mandatory to take like half a credit of gym or whatever. So I, I did my time and I got out. Sure. And you, and that credit was health. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, the best thing was the uh, the teacher was like you know this like guy who you know was like a thirty year old guy who had like straight up had ADD and in the beginning of the unit he was like okay cool so. Throughout the semester, we're going to be doing, like, you know, work on this project. It's going to be, it's going to be most of your grades going to be, you know, 30-page, or whatever the hell it was, you know. The guy totally forgot about it, you know, like, after the first day. So, like, we, it was just gym class, you know. We didn't do anything. It was the best. But, yeah, I remember being like, oh, I don't want to do this at all. What, what was your health class experience like? You mean, like, sex ed stuff? Sure, yeah. We watched um, School of Rock at least twice. <laughs> That's not a lie. We, I remember we watched one video that said there, I, it was, it was, there were, there are two things from this video that stand out to me. The Carousel of was, Life. It was, uh, we had that. It was supposed to be like funny, I guess. Oh, of course. So th- the, there was a part where the kid was like, I like, I like my track coach. I mean, I really like my track coach. <laughs> What? Wow. Yeah, it was it was no good. <laughs> and and there was there was some point in class when we were all giggling and carrying on. Sure. And the teacher said, "You won't think this is funny when you've got green stuff coming out of your urethra." <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Uh, were they right? Yeah, it, it was, was not, not funny. funny. <laughs> it hurt. Can I tell? Can I give a blast down? Please. Oh, her name was Coach Burke. Okay. She was a coach in middle school. Okay. And. We were we I I don't remember if it was health or what, but at the time I had a lot of piercings. Sure, I was just fucking so cool. Loaded out with them, nose. Let me let me. I'll give you a rundown. Nose, which I is the only one that I still have. Which 
every I've been worried about that recently. Like, because you've asked me recently, like, should I take it out? And yeah. I've been like, no, it's cool or whatever. Is it? It's probably not. If you think it's cool, let me Dude, know. I don't know anymore because there's a there's a girl I'm aware of, and she has an eyebrow piercing, and she's probably our age, maybe a little older. And I'm every time I see her, I'm like, what are you doing? Like with that eyebrow piercing. So maybe people are thinking the same thing about you, man. I d- I maybe I cool don't... guys like me. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just every time I see her, I'm like, "What? Why do you need to do that? Like, what's?" The... I feel like an eyebrow, a nose ring is much more subtle. I agree, because much. no, I, like people do nose piercings, but like no one's really doing eyebrow piercings. Yeah. So it's easier to blend in, I guess, if you have a nose piercing. I don't know. Let me know. Tweet us at Dilettante Ball. D i l e t t a n t e b a l l. Hashtag yes ring nose ring. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and let me know what you think because I, I seriously, uh, you, you get worried about at it. least once a week, I look in the mirror and I say, is, is, it, t- is it time? Is it time? <laughs> and I don't know. So, uh, so you're blasting down Coach Burke. Uh, so I will, I had a nose ring. I had both eyebrows pierced. I had, uh, was one of them a safety pin? No, okay. I never did that. Okay. Shit. That's a little, uh, one of them was horizontal though. Cause okay. I was fucking whatever. Narballs. Narballs. And <laughs> And I had um, uh, both my ears pierced. Gauged, one, right? one, they weren't gauged yet. Okay. They, you know, sometimes I think, do I want to gauge my ears again too? And and interesting. I do think that. I feel like you could get away with tasteful gauges. I would not Zeros? go bigger than a zero. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was. That's what I had. And they looked fucking tight. Those do look good. And then you can get so you got your gauges, your zeros, and then you got uh, another earring through that, like a hoop earring through the gauge. No, that sucks. And that's like a dragon. <laughs> My da- I don't like know where one of those super thick like cur- like my my dad had an earring. Uh, next time I go home, I want to see if I can find it because okay. it was insane. Okay, it's it's because uh, when you got your ears pierced or your ear pierced, so did your dad, right? He already had his. He already had his pierced. He had he had his ear pierced as long as I've known him. Right, right. And I I was in first grade when I got my ear pierced because I was like, that's pretty. My dad's cool. tight as hell. That's really I want to cool. get my ear pierced too. So he might have both his ears pierced. I'm not sure. Wow, I don't remember. That's awesome for like an older guy. I, Your I, dad he, looks good, by the way. I saw a picture of him the other day. He yeah. had like he was like standing like a bouncer, and I was like, "Dang, dude!" Like, that he's, like would, he's like real tan and shit. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. He's like jacked up. Um, I mean, uh, not jacked up. <laughs> he looks like shit. No, he has like his like face is all jacked up. Yeah, he's like a in a fight with a dog. He, uh, <laughs> I don't think he wears his earrings anymore. I feel like he could beat me up. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So anyway, this earring, it's a skull. Okay. And it has devil horns, and then the back there's like a chain that hangs down, and there's a fucking cross on it. <laughs> It is. He, he never wore it, or you know, he might have when he was younger. Right or something. when you were like two, and he was like, "Ugh, time to put this up." It's fucking awesome. You've got to get that. I that's, will try my damnedest to find it. That's the best because it's ever. like crazy. Could not be any cooler than that. It's fucking crazy. You know what? The only, the only thing that would make it cooler is if the skull was also wearing sunglasses. Uh, <laughs> and had a cigarette. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, can I blast? And every time you like press this, the earring smoke came out, <laughs> <laughs> and the eyes lit up. <laughs> yeah, and a motorcycle like. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> that earring sounds dope. You gotta find it now. <laughs> You're gonna be real disappointed when it's just a diamond. <laughs> oh, it was so it's so different in my yeah, memory. Yeah. <laughs> Let me blast down this coach. Sure, you got Coach Burke. So I'm all I'm all jacked up like I got in a fight with a piercing gun. <laughs> And she says, she she was like lecturing the class on some bullshit. Okay. And she said, do you think that you're going to be successful? And she wasn't directing this at me. She was directing it at everyone. If, you're, if your face is all pierced up and full of, full of she, 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 she was like going on and on. And I was like, are you, is it, it, it was crazy. And I raised my hand. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And she she said, Oh, not you, but like yeah, someone that, like that's you. That's what she said, and I was like, "This is... Are you kidding me? This is crazy." <laughs> so she was kind of old. So hopefully she's dead. She worked at Galaxy Middle School, and she can suck a dick. <laughs> I can see her being like, like one of those people, uh, like so old, fat, like she's like eighty-five. Uh, do you expect to get a job if you have a tattoo on your upper forearm? Like, you know, like what she, are you talking about? She wasn't that old, but she was. She was. She was very leathery. You know that Florida leathery that people yeah. get. She's real like tan she and wrinkly, outside. and and she just she just looked like a, like, like she, a sack of beef jerky. <laughs> right, right, right. Like she doesn't smoke cigarettes; she just is one. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> She's she a Cohiba like in, cigar. Instead of instead of drinking coffee, yeah. she just she puts all her cigarette butts in the in, in the, the in, in the, the filter and like brews that. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, blast on her. That's that's really crazy. But but there were I mean she she knew, she fucking knew yeah. my face was plastered with the bullshit. You should try to find her and be like, "Hey, I'm like crushing I'm, it right I'm, now. I'm making I'm twice fine. as much money as you are. I'm making twice as much money as you are. Tens of people <laughs> listen to my podcast and my, skin and my girlfriend comes to almost every improv show I do. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm all right. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a PS4 later. So, you know, <laughs> why don't you go and talk to my boss about that? <laughs> my boss at my job that I have. That I got with all the shit in my face, Coach Burke. Did your coaches... Uh, uh, have run-ins, you could say, <laughs> maybe reprimands uh, on the side, under under the table, like, hey, maybe don't have sex with the kids you're coaching? No. Oh, because that was, like, my school's jam, I guess. That's crazy. <laughs> like, every coach I had, you know, that all taught, like, you know, uh, physical geography or, you know, like, whatever, <laughs> who was also... Physical geography? Y- yeah. Well, you know, Oh, like... just south of <laughs> oh, God damn it. the belt right. is the wiener. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, so it was all, you know, like, 28-year-old dudes who I coach, you know, the girls' track team or whatever, uh, so it was, like... High school? Middle school? High school, high school. So, probably, like, no good, you know, like, whatever. In I don't want to, I don't want to use any names, but, uh... Do it. <sighs> coach Burke. Coach Burke, it was Coach Burke. I heard, I heard Coach, <laughs> I heard Coach Burke had sex with nearly everyone, whether they wanted it or not, <laughs> and I heard that she stole from the school... <laughs> And and I heard I heard that I heard that she killed someone once, and I heard that she was cheating on her husband. Fuck! There was a teacher. Her when I started, Ooh, I got one. her name was Miss King. That was in sixth grade. And when you she were- got she got divorced, her name was Miss Solano. Okay. Then by the time I left middle school, Mister McGuire. Her name her name was Miss Hogue, because. She married a gym teacher at my school. <laughs> she was cheating on her husband with the gym teacher at my school oh. and got divorced and married him over the course of my three years. That's amazing. Shout out to Coach Ho. Yeah, because he's laying down some pipe. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? I've got a t- I'm gonna, I got one for you. Yeah. <clears throat> I bet this, this maybe is the best one. Okay. It better be. It's probably not. So I had a teacher, right, who turned out to be kind of like a dickhead, but whatever. So he got his just rewards. He is just rewards is just desserts. <laughs> <laughs> he just got rewarded desserts. So when I'm in fifth grade, I had this teacher. Uh, her name was Mrs. Coach D- Burke. <laughs> her name was Mrs. Dillinger. Okay. She, uh, no, it wasn't fifth grade. It was maybe third grade. Sure. And she taught computers and music. Okay. Uh, fast forward to high school. I have Mr. Dillinger who teaches me math. Okay. Well, guess what? Mr. Dillinger's wife, Mrs. Dillinger left him for another woman and they divorced. Yeah, and he was like a very Christian man. Like, oh, that's yeah, the yeah. best. Yeah, 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 it was great. <clears throat> also, I feel like he was always like really too familiar with like the young girls in the class. Like, Kristen, like, it's good to see you. Can I give another blast down? I've blasted this man down often. This will be this will make what a baker's dozen. I mean, at least a cool <laughs> baker's dozen. <laughs> Mr. False. <laughs> Brian False. You children are the poster – what is it? You, you're, the, you're poster children for abortion. That's the best said. thing I've ever heard He said life. to us. We were 11. I want- <laughs> he said to a classroom of 30 11-year-olds, you're poster children for abortion. I want that to be like the, I want, I wanted the pitchfork to say that, review for my album. I wanted to say that on his headstone. <laughs> Brian False, the poster child for abortion. <laughs> That's Brian, the- Brian False um, – uh, died breaking Coach Burke's fall from a 90-story building. <laughs> there were no survivors. <laughs> Some say if you uh, on a <laughs> on Labor Day weekend before the school starts, <laughs> your poster children for abortion. <laughs> king, 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 king. You can still hear him slamming on the lockers after class, praying to God for the strength to get through your period. <laughs> He he was really um, very close with the the female students, and this was middle That's school, no good. and it was it was noticeable and uncomfortable. That's no good. He would he would let girls sit in his desk chair, in his like lap. not in his lap. That'd be, I mean, I'm sure it happened, but he he would let them sit in his his desk chair while he was teaching, and 
he was he he was, he, he, it was, it was no, just gross. Hey, you know what? Like chivalry is not dead because I'm the chival man. <laughs> so basically, most of the teachers that I had at that middle school were just awful. Can I will shout out a few teachers? Oh, please, uh, Brian Innes. He was a fantastic science teacher and a fantastic man. He was great. He went to UF. And that he sounds was, familiar. He was he was absolutely uh, one one of the greatest teachers I've ever oh, had. Nice guy. He was fantastic. Uh, he, my so turn. cool. Shout yeah. out to Mr. Arnold. Nice. Who is a net, you know what? Uh, the other day, I, I was like, you know what? He's really into board games, I bet. <clears throat> and I went onto this website, boardgamegeek.com, which I am a patron of. He's a moderator. No, <laughs> no, but I was like, you know what? I bet, and sh- I typed in his name, and sure enough, I recognized his like his like tag or his uh, his handle or whatever yeah. from like other things, like you know, from the Cthulhu, you know, web ring, or, you know, sure. like, but it was like it's like a handle he's had for like thirty years, you know, when he was like the beta tester for the first internet, you know. <laughs> He was a guy that uh, uh, he had mentioned Eraserhead in class. Brian Innes was the dude he who was into Eraserhead. Yeah, we so, talked about Eraserhead. So yeah, we we talked about it once, and then one day I came into class, and on my desk was a copy, like a burned copy of Eraserhead. So pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, he never copped to it though. I was like, "Thanks, Mr. Arnold." He's like, "I don't know what you're talking about." Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watched it in the middle of the night. That movie, that movie got to me actually. Speaking of scary movies, that would never. That movie was freaky as hell. We should watch it. I would love to watch it. It's I watched it at one AM and I, I got out of my seat and was like, What the hell is going on right now? I was like, This is insane. So that's the spookiest thing that's ever happened. Maybe the spookiest thing that's ever happened is watching a racer head. There you go. Thanks, Mr. Arnold. Smell you later. <laughs> we should have a like a standby fart. In case uh, in case like <laughs> placeholder fart. This has been a peach and hot sauce presentation. Peaches.